the US Army just got a big upgrade to its armored fleet. The Army has received the first prototype of the M1E3 Abrams main battle tank from General Dynamics Land Systems. The first prototype arrived at a US testing site fresh off the line. It's a pre-prototype, meaning it's rough around the edges. The Army wants driving it soon in small units to spot issues early. Three more prototypes hit the dirt in 2026 for gunnery tests, crew drills, and drone defense trials. By late 2027 or 2028, the first combat-ready batch could roll out, way faster than the old 2030s timeline. The M1E3 is an evolution of the famous Abrams tank, built to handle today's battlefields full of drones, smart missiles, and fast-moving threats. The M1E3 promises to be lighter, quieter, and tougher. The M1E3 Abrams Key Specifications Weight About 60 tons, full combat load, 10 to 20 tons, lighter than older M1A2 models, easier to transport by truck or ship. Crew Three crew members, commander, gunner, driver. An autoloader handles ammo, ditching the old loader roll for a smaller turret. Main gun 120mm smoothbore cannon, M256 or upgraded, fires smart rounds like hypersonic projectiles and anti-tank missiles, possible future bump to 130 or 140mm for more punch. Engine Hybrid diesel-electric powertrain, around 1,500 horsepower but 40-50% to 50 better fuel efficiency than the old gas guzzler, quieter and less heat signature to hide from sensors. Speed. Top road speed is 42 to 45 miles per hour and about 25 miles per hour off-road. Better power to weight ratio for quicker turns. Range. Over 265 miles on a tank of fuel, thanks to the efficient hybrid setup. Armor. Chobham composite with depleted uranium layers. Integrated, not add-on, for better protection without extra weight. Lowers thermal and radar signatures to sneak past enemies. Active protection. Built-in system like improved trophy. Zaps incoming drones, missiles, and RPG with lasers or interceptors. Handles drone swarms and top attack threats. Sensors and tech. AI-assisted targeting, 360-degree cameras, networked comms for linking with UAVs and robot vehicles. Open software for quick updates. Dimensions. A length of 9.8 meters with gun forward, a width of 3.7 meters, and a height of 2.4 meters. These numbers make the M1E3 a beast that's easier to feed and move. The hybrid engine means less fuel truck traffic, a big win in long wars. The autoloader speeds up firing to 10, 12 rounds per minute. And that APS? It could save lives against cheap drones that cost less than a pizza, but pack a wallop. What makes the M1E3 special? It's built from the ground up for modern fights. Instead of bolting on extras, key features are baked in. This keeps it modular, like Lego blocks, so future upgrades are easy and cheap. The tank teams up with drones and robots, sharing data in real time. AI helps the crew spot enemies faster, suggesting targets before humans even see them. Since the 1980s, the Abrams been the star of US tank forces. The first M1 rolled out in 1980, powered by a roaring gas turbine engine that could hit speeds over 40 miles per hour. It proved its worth in the Gulf Wars, smashing Iraqi tanks with its 120 mm gun. Over the years, upgrades like the M1A1 and M1A2 added better armor, computers, and sensors. But each tweak made it heavier, up to 80 tons in some versions. That's great for protection, but a nightmare for shipping and fuel use. By 2023, the Army hit a wall. The planned M1A 2SEP V4 upgrade was too heavy and too slow to build. Lessons from Ukraine showed tanks need to dodge drones and hide from sensors, not just slug it out.
So, in September 2023, leaders scrapped the old plan and started fresh with the M1E3. The goal? Cut weight, boost speed in development, and pack in tech for the drone age. They sped things up using digital designs and off-the-shelf parts, aiming for troops to test it in 2026, years ahead of schedule. This isn't just about one tank. The M1E3 fits into the Army's big shift. It's part of the Army Transformation Initiative, learning from global hotspots. Tanks alone won't win, they need drone buddies and AI brains. General Dynamics drew from their Abrams X demo tank, unveiled in 2022, which showed off hybrid power and drone zapping tech. Cost-wise, it's smart too. Using commercial parts like truck engines, cuts bills and speeds fixes. The M1E3 bridges old-school armor with new-school smarts. It's lighter for quick deployment to Europe or Asia, tougher against peer foes like Russia or China. So this delivery marks a pivotal moment for armoured warfare. The armies will tweak it based on hands-on time, ensuring it's not just advanced, but usable. In a world where threats evolve weekly, the M1E3 keeps America rolling ahead. It's here to protect troops and project power, one quiet rev at a time. <laughs>